This video is brought to you in part by Hyundai. Welcome back to the Kilowatts. Today I'm here with the Pebble Flow Electric RV. This thing could be the future of luxurious camping. It's fully electric, it's got a giant battery inside, it's got your, your gray water, your black water, your fresh water, it's got everything you need. One kilowatt of solar up top. I'm really excited to show you the interior, the exterior, their magic hitch technology, as well as I'm gonna be driving around like its own uh, autonomous vehicle and I'm gonna be actually using uh, a uh, iPad to drive it around as you would at a campsite. So with that, let's get into it. So as we get started, I should clarify that this is a prototype meant for engineering and not the final production version. They've made some minor changes, but for the most part, the vehicle will look like this. It's got a front trunk up front. It's got some large windows throughout, ones that you can open. It has motors on either wheel, as well as a 45 kilowatt hour battery and one kilowatt of solar up top. Let's go ahead and hop in. Just getting in the Pebble Flow, you immediately see how spacious it is, especially with this Murphy bed in the back, the kitchen and the large restroom, all the way back up to the front of the vehicle where there's more seating, which obviously becomes a bed. Let's get into some of my favorite features. All right, so here we've got the iPad that controls this whole vehicle. I can do everything from turning on or off the lights. I can adjust the HVAC, the uh, air conditioning, the temperature of the vehicle. I can uh, turn on the exterior lights. I can actually also adjust the window privacy. So these windows are electrochromatic, so you can have them more kind of clear or make them more opaque with just the, uh, the tap of a button. Additionally, you can lock or unlock the vehicle as well as just uh, checking the status of the vehicle. You can see over up here, you can see the battery level of the vehicle as well as the uh, fresh water, the gray water, which by the way, this has a 40 gallon fresh water tank, a 13 gallon black water tank and a 37 gallon gray water tank, which for several days of camping, several people, that can actually get you pretty far. Up in the front of the vehicle here, there's a fairly large table. Uh, this actually, like you've maybe seen in other RVs, uh, has a telescoping table and it will go down and actually make this a full size bed. So you could have uh, one you know, adult person, maybe two, uh, but definitely a, a pair of kids sleeping up here in the front of the vehicle, pretty far separate uh, from the back of the vehicle that we'll get to in a minute. I briefly wanna emphasize how important it is to have a well-designed vehicle uh, in terms of space. So obviously this is a 25 foot vehicle, uh, tip to tip, and uh, they've laid out the space very well. And another important part is just how tall it is. So I'm about 5'9", five, 5'10", five, and above my head here, uh, there's just plenty of space. I think I could easily be another you know, five, six inches without even having to crouch. And that's especially important. Anyone who's an RVer knows in the shower here. And again, maybe I have to crouch just a little bit for the shower head, but yeah, this is a very comfortable kind of almost like a residential sized shower. So I'm surprisingly comfortable with that. And again, I can also tint the windows for privacy. As I make my way to the back of the vehicle, I'm here at what looks like a desk. It's actually a pretty large, pretty wide space back here. And that's because this here is a Murphy bed. There's a temporary release mechanism there. I'm gonna go ahead and let the bed drop down. And now I've got a very large, very comfortable queen size bed that I can just kind of get comfortable in. And wow, there's just so much space back here. There's a little bit of storage on the side there, plugs for your phones and really nice big windows, including one above me. This is very nice. All right, so with that, I do wanna kind of speed through the rest of this. This is just a little bit of a preview of the vehicle, so we're not gonna explore the kitchen with the wandering cooktop. We're not gonna look at the refrigerator, all the storage space, which there is a lot. They've just put storage everywhere they could squeeze it in. But let's get into kind of some of the smart features before we talk about Hyundai. All right, so they've actually given me the remote to the Pebble Flow here. It's back there parked uh, kind of for storage and I'm gonna bring it up here so we can see it a little bit closer. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to the uh, little finger button there that basically says, hey, I'm paying full attention, I have control. And then from here, I should be able to rotate it and send it this way to us. Oh, I'm gonna rotate it just a little bit more to get a little bit further from that curb. And then here we go, let's see if I can bring it over to us. I'm gonna rotate it again just a little bit more. There we go, now it's pointing right at us. Look at that. Can you just imagine being at a campsite and you could just direct your RV where you want it to be? If you want a better view, if you can't get your tow vehicle there, you could just do this. 
get the exact angle in the exact spot and turn it on a dime. This is really a unique experience. And again, you can sleep in that thing. Like it's just, I'm just imagining for views when you're going to campsites, this is just ideal. And obviously when you're going to hook up to your tow vehicle as well. But I want just that view there. Boom, there you go. I just towed the Pebble Flow with an iPad. One of the other great features about the Pebble Flow is even if you can remote control close to your vehicle or get your tow vehicle backed up close to it, you don't actually have to uh, get uh, it perfectly aligned like you do with other vehicles. They've got a feature called Magic Hitch that uses a vision system. And go ahead and activate it there for me. So he's holding down those two buttons. And as long as he's holding those, the Pebble Flow is going to do everything, including raising itself up and uh, securing it to the tow vehicle there. So it's going to take a minute here. It's lowering itself onto the hitch. I don't know if you guys can see just how perfectly it's done it. There we go, right perfectly onto the hitch. And we were standing out of the rain the whole time. There we go. Very impressive. And is the wheel just gonna, is the front wheel just gonna lift itself off the ground there as well? Yep. I don't think I've ever seen a, an RV able to leave a campsite that quickly and that easily. Perfect, and you're good to go. Yep. Like those electric RVs with their big batteries and cameras, I'm out here in Las Vegas checking out the upcoming Hyundai Ioniq 5 Robo Taxis. And while obviously this is not one of them, I've had a chance to see them out testing, collecting data several times over the last few years. During just this visit, I probably saw about half a dozen of them out testing on the roads here in Las Vegas. But why does any of that matter? As I'm sure you know already, I love electric vehicles. And it's not just because they're quicker or faster or smoother. It's because they offer the potential to reduce the cost of transportation for everyone. Because of electric batteries, um, first of all, there's less maintenance. Second of all, electricity is just like the common currency of energy. It's easier to get it from any other source of energy and transmit it almost losslessly. So electric vehicles can make the world a little bit more accessible to everyone by reducing the cost of transportation. Well, robotaxis can take that a step further. By removing the driver, you make that vehicle more shared, more accessible. Really, you make the whole world more accessible when you make it autonomous. And earlier this week, Hyundai came out with a video demonstrating this. In their video, we meet a woman named Pearl who shares how she lost her vision due to a retinal degenerative disorder. Her story is a good reminder about how often people with disabilities and obviously blindness don't get out in the world as much just because of all the additional work and costs required. For Pearl, if she wants to go somewhere, it's generally gonna mean that she needs to involve someone else to drive her there and back. But robotaxis could change that completely, giving people like Pearl a renewed lease on life. Today, customers in Las Vegas interested in taking a ride in a Hyundai Ioniq 5 robotaxi can visit the Uber app and select either the Uber X or Uber Comfort electric options for a chance to be matched with one of their available robo-taxis. And if an autonomous vehicle is available to complete the trip, users will have the option to opt in before the autonomous trip is confirmed, at which point a robo-taxi will be dispatched to pick them up. While I wasn't able to catch one during this trip to Vegas, I'm really encouraged by seeing companies like Hyundai working on this. You know, robo-taxis, when they arrive in mass, they're gonna be completely transformational from everything from transportation, as you just saw, to food delivery and package delivery. It's gonna change everything. And I'm really excited for it. So I cannot wait till the day when I can actually try an Ionic 5 RoboTaxi back home in San Francisco.